Welcome to the Precision Air Rifle channel. I've got the slug squaging equipment set up as you can see and we're going to go through the process of making a couple slugs and going through the equipment a little bit. First thing when you set up the die and the swage is to pick out your base and I picked out a cut base that I'm trying. Uh, then the next thing that you want to do before you do any swaging is to make sure your pins won't touch. So what you want to do is take the hollow point pin, take it out, and then slowly raise your ram and make sure there's a gap right there. Because if it is, if they do touch on your swaging stroke, you'll break your dies. Goes back in and then we just tighten it down. And I'm making two one eight slugs right now. And first thing we've got to do is cut our wire. So it comes to you in a roll. And all you do is just cut a piece off. Take a box and put it underneath the cutter. And this is the cutter. It's got the 210 bushings in it. Just stick the wire in, go to your left. And this is adjustable for weight. By this little set uh, bolt right here, you just twist it up and you can adjust your weight. When you get the slugs out, you have to lube them or the cores and what I did is I took a little bit of the core swage lube stuck it to the top and bottom of this pan and I just dumped my cores into them And I've got to do something about this box to do something a little bit better. And just screw the cap on. And just shake them and It doesn't take much lube. If you put too much on, you'll deform the slug. Then you just set your slugs out. Um, my scale. And 
and with the swaging process, raise the ram up, drop in your core, and then it'll go down. You'll feel a little bit of resistance, and you'll see the wire extruded out. That's the excess. And then your slug, you just lift it off of the um, pin, the ejector, the hollow point pin, and there's your slug. Twenty five point one one grains. I'm shooting for twenty five point one in that area. If you want to lower the weight of your slug, you loosen this up and just screw this down a little bit and that will lighten your slug a little bit. If you want to go heavier, you screw this out. Let's do a couple more. Twenty five point one nine. And it really doesn't take that long to make these. I weigh them because I'm still so new to it. 25, 25.14, so they're pretty consistent. And I have different bases also. This is the cut base. And you might be able to see the cut base right there. I'm trying it out first, and then I'm going to try some flat base out also. 25.14 and it doesn't take any real effort I mean just a little bit uh, to swage the slugs because of the action of the swager. They designed it to be a compound action. I do have 217 dies here and I have a 217 where I can make the same thing as the FX slugs by making a tube kind of looks like a barrel with a division in it as the first step and then you push it through your other die to close the end up. Pretty slick little tool. And let's see what this one is. 25.12. One thing I found if I have one like that I just put it back on the pin and swage it just a little bit more. 25.12 and it comes down. So there is just a little bit of variance in there, not much, but a little bit. And let's see what this one weighs. 25.14, so we're pretty consistent. 
if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Uh, I'm still in the process of trying out slugs to see what shoots the best. Uh, and I'll get back with you on that also. Thank you for watching and have a good day.